Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Weekly Report. For Andrew Riley, I'm Joshua Miller. Hopefully, you're able to take some time and enjoy a great Thanksgiving, but it's time to get back to the grind. Let's jump into the numbers. This week in job board searches and clicks. Truck driver searches were down 3% week over week, 22% month over month, and 31% year over year. Clicks on driver postings were down 13% week over week, 25% month over month, but up 8% year over year. The drops in search and click activity were not unexpected, as historically both dropped during the week of Thanksgiving. This year, however, the dip actually began the week before Thanksgiving, which is why the week over week dips were smaller than what we typically see during this time of year. If the rates continue to follow the trend, we can expect to see clicks rebound to or above the levels they were at just prior to Thanksgiving in the coming week or so. This week in freight. Load postings tumbled by 40% week over week, but again, not a huge shock. In the past few years, volume drops during the week of Thanksgiving have ranged anywhere from around 36 to 42%. So this year falls right in line with what was to be expected. Each of the three major segments saw large load postings decreases, with dry van postings dropping by 34%, refrigerated dropping by 36%, and flatbed saw a decrease of 48% week over week. Truck availability was also on the decline with a 34% drop, which, again, typical this time of year. Load to truck ratio fell to its lowest level in five weeks, but dry van actually bucked the system and overall trend to rise to its strongest levels in eight weeks. Spot rates rose by six cents per mile week over week, but most of that increase is the result of the sharp increase in dry van rates. Dry van was up by 14 cents week over week, while refrigerated dropped by two cents and flatbed inched up by an increase of one half cent per mile week over week. Now, the story of the week. Just how long will these used truck prices last? Well, it looks like the prices could continue to climb well into 2022. Through the first 10 minutes of 20, 10 months of 2021, used truck activity was 4% higher compared to 2020, and the average price is a staggering 48% higher, while the average miles were down 2% and the age remained unchanged. Comparing available used trucks in October 2021 to October 2020, the average price was 67% higher, average miles and age were greater by 3% and 5% respectively. Although inventory levels are among the lowest we've ever seen, dealers have done everything they can to provide the buyers with the units they need. But there's only so much that can be done as new trucks continue to be delayed due to the shortage of semiconductors and other vital components. Can't talk. Price increases on the auction market are even higher. Trucks four to six years old are selling for 90% more than they were in 2020 and 71% more than they did in 2019. Late model trucks have appreciated 5.6% per month in 2021 to date. Given the recent price and sales trends for used trucks, coupled with the elevated freight volume and rates, these high prices are likely to climb even higher, at least in the near term. Well, that's all I got for you this week, but we'll be back with all the latest next Wednesday morning. You can find our weekly reports and other great driver recruiting content over on our YouTube page as well as over on our newly updated Randall Riley website. And over there, it's in the recruiting resources section. Until next time, have a great week, everybody.